Hello all, it is Esther Garrison again with another uh, technology tool for you to try out. Today I'm going to show you about a Chrome app called Ribbit. It is a way to make collage collages with photos. And I'm showing you this so that you can use Ribbit to make a collage for ThingLink. I sent out a email a while back with an example project that a kid did in social studies, 8th grade social studies at Alexandria, and he had a collage of a bunch of different photos from a um, particular battle um, during the Revolutionary War, and I thought, whoa, that's really cool that you could have multiple photos uh, in your thing link, so I found this app, and we can do the same thing. So when you get to um, Ribbit, which you could go to the Chrome store and find the app that way. Um, so if you look here, I have apps. And there's Ribbit. Um, so if you just go to the Chrome store, search apps, and search Ribbit. There it is. Ribbit Photo Collage. So there's an editor. I'm using the collage. If you want to play around and try some of these other things, go for it. Um, so I went ahead and got that app, and here it is. Um, when you register, um, they're just going to ask for your usual info. So I'm going to log on here. And then um, the grid collage is what you're going to want to click on. And up here in the basic area, uh, this is the free stuff, of course, right? They've got the premium content if you're going to pay for it. But this is all we need. Um, you can choose different sizes, different orientations. Even when you pick one, you can come down here and change the spacing. So there's more of a border. There's less of a border or no border. Transparent border. Um, so you can change the proportion. Uh, you can do a lot here to customize. Um, so I'm going to show you one that I put together. Uh, as you can see, I've got photos down here already. Yours will be blank, and you'll click Upload Photos, and that's how you can kind of build this bank of photos. So I decided to do one on the um, laws of motion, Newton's three laws of motion. So I found an image to represent each one. And uh, once you upload your photos, so click Upload, I would just find them wherever I saved them. Um, I would just click and drag. So maybe I want that one there, this one here, and this one here. Now once they're in, you can drag them to move them any way you want. These kids' heads are cut off a little bit. I haven't found a way to um, shorten it. The other thing would just be maybe getting rid of the border, but no, their heads are still cut off. So um, you can play around some more with that, um, but it does the job. Um, so once they're in here, you can zoom in more. Clear cell lets you get rid of the photo if you don't like it. Um, but pretty much that's it. You find what you want, and even when they're in here, I can click on this, and it'll change them. Um, so you can you can uh, edit it throughout once even when you have your photos on. So once I'm done, uh, I'm going to click the done button. And it brings you to editing. You'll see over here there's premium. These are things you have to pay for. Uh, but there are ones that do not say premium. Those you can use. Feel free to um, do some fun stuff if you wanted to. So maybe I want round edge. Um, maybe I want a little mat, but I really don't. I just want my picture. So I'm cool with this. So I'm going to go up here at the top and I'm going to click the save button. It's going to ask me to name it. It'll ask me uh, within dimension just to make sure it's the way I want it. I don't really mess with that stuff because I don't know if it's going to ruin um, what I'm seeing right now. And then you can change it from JPEG to PNG file. Um, they tell you which one is best for which. So I keep it as a JPEG. And then the quality, I keep it around an 8, so I don't want the file to get too large. 
So save file, save. Now I already have one that existed because I had already done this. Um, so that's what you would do is you would save it. And then you would go over to your thing link, which I already made a video about. So if, if you haven't watched that, I would advise watching that before pulling in your picture collage. Um, but just like any of the other collages here, I'll kind of go where I started. So you could go to your me page or um, you could just click create for a new one. So that's what I did, and I did choose image, and I went to my desktop where I saved my um, JPEG. So I uploaded that, and then I started putting links on. So if I open this puppy up, press the pencil so I can edit it, um, you'll see that I've got a link in here that just asks a question. Use this image to explain Newton's first law of motion. And then I have another one. Explain another circumstance that the first law of motion is acting in. And then my last link here is a video showing how football um, and the first law of motion are connected. Just talking about um, wide receivers and tackling and how that uh, relates to the first law of motion. Uh, and then I would continue on and I would start putting more links in. Again, if you want to use this in a small group setting, I can just picture using it that way, personally. I can see putting my students in groups. If this is laws of motion, then this is like a physics or physical science class. And I can have them in lab groups where they pull this up and, you know, they're maybe working with a partner, maybe they're working as a whole group, but they're just discussing all of these things. Now, you might have a spot for them to, maybe you have them pull up a Google Doc and they, you know, write their answers down and their discussions down, or maybe you just simply want it to be verbal and you walk around and you listen to them. Uh, so however you choose to manage that is up to you. But here's another uh, way to use ThingLink. Um, again, it's called Rivet. It is an app you can find in the App Store, the Chrome Web Store. Um, and your students could do it too. So next year when everyone's one-to-one, -one, not everyone, okay, I guess freshmen and sophomores, but um, when they've got their Chromebooks, they can add this app as well. And you can have them making collages and making ThingLinks. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want to give it a try and you want to talk to me about, you know, doing a lesson that involves this and you want some guidance, just come knock on my door or email me. Um, but that is all. So I hope you enjoyed. Till next time.